Thursday, which is actually also the first day of March. And as we're feeling this energy build up, we're also leaving eclipse season. So it's an excellent time for releasing a lot of old emotions and hangups and attachments and things that have been, you know, in one way or another holding you back. So there's a lot of floodgates opening because we also have a lot of planets in Pisces. And in fact, this full moon, we're going to have the moon opposite Neptune, which is the modern ruler of Pisces. But also on that exact same day, we have Venus um, in a trine with Jupiter in Scorpio. So it's an extremely, even though it's a Virgo full moon, it's an extremely watery feeling week, um, especially we just came out of the Cancer waxing moon. Now as I'm making this video, we're in Leo. So it feels a little more, we needed that fire. It feels a little more creative and um, more inspiring. So we're in the Leo creative fire now. And as we move into the Virgo full moon on Thursday, we could be experiencing our minds really working overtime. Like we probably have a lot of work, a lot of list making we have to do and a lot of things that we have to keep on track. So it's, it's a really powerful time of cleaning things up, getting organized, getting your work on track, not over obsessing or analyzing things or falling into worry, which is easy to do with the Virgo energy. But um, the Pisces, I think, can balance it because as long as we stay in the creative, if we stay in the creative field and we stay in the, the more imaginative realm, I mean, it can also make it hard to stay on task and to stay in reality. I had posted this quote from Samuel Beckett that there's really no cure for being on earth. And it could feel like that this week. Like we just want to hide under the covers, go back to sleep, or just stay in the fantasy realm of Pisces. So this is the polarity that we're dealing with right now with Virgo and Pisces. Part of us wants to go back to sleep and part of us knows we've got so much on our plate that we have to finish and so many things on our list that we've got to get done. And you're probably struggling with feeling there's so much to do but not wanting to have to finish any of it actually and just avoid all of it and just do what your soul wants, what your soul needs, which is often not to be efficient and productive and on task, but to do the opposite, like go watch a movie or take a longer snooze like Harpo or, you know, do something romantic. It's a very, it's an extremely romantic time right now with all this Pisces, especially with Venus exalted in Pisces during this full moon and Venus having a trine to Jupiter and Scorpio. It's a, it's a really, there's a lot of uh, love energy and romantic energy in the air. So it's, it's hard to stay focused right now. So you have to you probably need somebody to like keep you on track. So, um, Maybe that's yourself, maybe it's alarms, maybe it's lists, so whatever it is, you know, that will keep you on track. It's it's finding the balance. As all full moon, full moon energies are, we have to really find the balance. So that's one recommendation I can suggest is to stay somewhere in the middle of the two realms, trying to remember there are projects you want to finish and it will feel really amazing once you do finish them. And then there's another part of you that wants to just, like I said, check out or do something for your soul. Go to a movie, be by the ocean, um, meditate, listen to music, listen to like a, to actually just lie down and listen to a whole album, you know, without being on your phone or having other distractions, you know. Whatever feeds your soul, this is what the Pisces time really asks of us now. So I would recommend that also. And um, with the Venus conjunct Jupiter, sorry, not conjunct, but trining Jupiter, that energy is so great for our creativity and imagination. So if you needed to connect to that energy with, depending on how you use your creativity, there's a lot of passion and a lot of um, imagination right now. And if you're not an artist, it could just be a very romantic time, as I mentioned, very passionate, very emotional time. So music is definitely recommended 
spirituality, dance, um, painting, poetry. These are all Pisces things. Um, I've noticed I've really enjoyed recently. I mean, I always love old movies, but I've been enjoying watching movies even more than usual lately, I think because of this buildup of planets in Pisces. So, although I can't really just sit and watch a movie because of all the distractions these days, it's like usually you have the movie on and then you're, you're writing or you're wanting to create something or I like to draw or do something else. So, you know, but there's something comforting and soothing about having the film on in the background. So whatever it is that your personal soul really craves right now, I recommend feeding your soul. And um, other things I would recommend during this time, I don't know, my camera keeps going darker, um, would be to, like I said, go by the ocean, have a time away from the mundane busyness. Because Virgo is also the archetype of the hermit, so we're craving more time alone, more time for solitude and reflection. And bringing the magic of the Virgo Pisces together gives us the opportunity to merge the solitude of Virgo and the part of us that really loves our work, which is Virgo, with the part of us that really loves um, merging into the collective unconscious, which is Pisces. So the part of us that really craves going into that, going into that archetypal realm, whether it's, like I said, it's through music or dance or poetry or film or like an amazing book or some story that feels more mythic or epic, you know, we need that kind of bigger than life feeling with Pisces. So that could even just be having, that could even just entail having really amazing dreams. So getting more sleep and writing your dreams down can be an excellent way to spend your time now with the Virgo Pisces. So definitely I imagine with this energy, your dreams are probably a little bit off the charts. So I would pay attention to what's happening in the dream realm. And, um, other suggestions, I always like to make suggestions for people with journaling as well or with tarot, like working with the moon archetype of the tarot is excellent now. Um, the moon card from the tarot, uh, the ninth, it's, sorry, it's the uh, 18th major arcana card. And also the hangman is very good because of the Neptune influence, so learning to surrender. The moon tarot card helps us delve into the dream world or the unconscious. It's what I also call the night sea journey. And then the Virgo, which balances that, is the hermit archetype. So being able to really shut out all external influences and go deeper within. That's, that's what Virgo can invite us to do. So I really recommend um, working with those different energies and taking time for more introspection. And if you can, being in nature, being around water or whatever really feeds your soul is also ideal right now. So these are just a few suggestions for the Virgo full moon and we're it's launching us into March which is where we're going to be having a lot of big planetary shifts including um, Mercury retrograde in Aries which starts right after the vernal equinox on the 22nd but we're going to be starting the next project 40 right on um, the vernal equinox equinox on March 20th so that we're engaged in the Mercury retrograde energy and it's 40 days devoted to Mercury so there's more information about that on my website please check it out I'd love to have you and other big things we have going on in March obviously we're going to be shifting from Pisces to Aries we're going to have a, we're going to have a new moon in Pisces next which I'll make another video about that as it gets closer so anyway this is about the Virgo full moon, which has a lot of the Pisces influence with those planets in Pisces. And um, so I recommend working on the balance of Virgo and Pisces at this time. Um, and then I will be back with a new moon in Pisces update. Thanks for watching.